What is going on everybody? How is everybody doing today? Welcome here today to my first episode of the New York Knicks My GM series here in NBA 2K21. I told you guys, I'm gonna give everything a shot here in 2K21. We've done my team, my career, my league. Now we are taking it over to my GM, something I've never done before on this channel and we're gonna be doing my favorite team the new york knicks because i was like we can do maybe the bulls the hawks the hornets one of those teams but i'm like you know what i've never done this before let's do my favorite team in the Knicks. so my gym actually has a ranked and an unranked system this year which is actually kind of cool so ranked you compete against other people worldwide and you see their my gm score or unranked where you can actually import custom rosters custom draft classes which is pretty hype and we're going to be doing that even though you still can't download draft classes and we are in day three now of 2k21 but hopefully that will get fixed so we can put that into this my gm series and also if you guys want to see episode two let's see if this video can get 2500 likes all right so we're gonna go medium because easy is casual and relaxing medium is realistic experience and hard is a challenging experience so we'll go medium for our difficulty so yeah they're not gonna have the actual owners the governor profile for the Knicks is philip turner is a no-nonsense governor who is the team's biggest fan he demands and success and he'll give you whatever money you need to get it okay that's nice so we can go out we can spend on free agents he'll be involved in all your big decisions but when things go wrong it will be or it'll be your neck on the line all right so you can see our total budget player budget payroll stamp budget and operations you can see the overalls and then you can see he doesn't have that much importance on money which is nice for us to have more flexibility as a gm but he wants team success team image level of involvement so he's in on the moves and then importance of franchise morale is not as much and then level of patience which is pretty good that that's only one star i think that means that's a good thing all right here we go let's put in our name to be the gm and yeah we're the gm of the new york Nick starting on Monday, December 7th. Hey there, Matthew. First and foremost, welcome to the team. Of course, thanks for having me. I'm ready to get started. But before I do, is there anything you'd like to discuss first? Well, you've got a great reputation, but I want to know a bit uh, more on how you'll lead the organization. If you'll head up uh, to sum up, uh, or if you had to sum up the key to management in a word or phrase, what would it be? I can say leadership, diplomacy, insight, finances, or facilities. You know what? I'm going to say leadership. And I'm gonna hope that was the right thing. I see that's an interesting approach. That's all I have for you now. Is there anything you'd like to ask me? Not right now, but if anything uh, comes to mind, I'll be sure to let you know. All right, so we can see we have the, uh, you can see how many AP you will have for the week here. Uh, don't know what AP means at all. Oh, action points per day. Okay, gotcha. We have three action points at the moment, as you can see in the top. My GM gives you a limited number of action points per day. Um, and then here is, I guess, the calendar. So assistant GM gives you recommendations on actions you can take here. And then uh, tests that you receive from anyone can be seen here. All right. So as you complete goals, your school uh, increase here. Nice. And I'm guessing you need to have a certain score. Higher the score, higher you have a chance of still being the GM. So uh, we have take action. So end day, end week, roster stamp, proposed trade pricing sponsorships all that league news my gm so you have your portfolio you have tests okay so select a conversation to get a test okay gotcha so i have to um wait you this trigger will uh this will trigger the use of an action okay so gotcha on that my skills my relationships okay so this is actually pretty cool you can see your history um mood history locked okay there's a lot into here that i kind of have to get familiar with your trophy showcase uh leaderboards i guess if that's if you play with people worldwide like this kind of named maga uh he's number one um yeah as you can see that so you got front office same stuff from my league you got the business side of things so team finances facilities pricing i'm guessing once you get to a higher yeah higher overall or higher ranking you can do those coaching that's more on the coach so i don't edit the uh rotate or i can edit the rotation okay that's pretty nice uh we got scouting training and team branding and then you have also standing stats okay there is a lot in here i'm hoping there is a way to import scouting just like normal uh wait so it said i could implement my draft classes <laughs> did they just lie to me on that or i will be able to do that at one point i don't know you guys can definitely let me know so you can edit name edit head uh attribute uh attribute sliders uh progression okay there's a lot to unpack here so we have a new test from the head coach let's i guess deal with this test so um i'm guessing it's just getting familiarized with tom thibodeau we should flip one of our expirings for some assets let's either move reggie bullock or mo harkless we're making trades right away 
Okay, I'm with that. If Thibodeau wants him gone, I'm giving Thibodeau the proper roster he needs to succeed. We're pulling no David Fisdale and giving him a bunch of guys that can't work together or just don't play well together. So we're going to be doing that, Thibodeau. Don't worry. And I'm guessing the governor is mainly the owner of the team. They just call it governor. Maybe they're not allowed to say owner. So we really need to improve our wins and losses from uh, for this season. Limit our losses in the near future. Okay, uh, I'm going to promise it just because I want to be... I want to be on a good side with my uh, with my owner. All right, so now we're going to hear in the parking lot from the chief financial officer, Jordan Malone. Oh, I always get him, I feel like, in my league. I've been seeing too many empty seats in the arena. We're MSG. What the heck? Let's get our attendance to be at the top in the league. All right, I'm promising to do all this this year. We're going to be making some moves, but we're also going to be waiting for the future. I know we're working on all kinds of things, but I think the guy's confidence would get a huge boost if we went on an eight-game win streak. That's making no promises. That's making no promises because I, I eight games? Some of the best teams in the league can't even do that. Okay, so we got head scout here. I don't know if he's gonna tell me because um, I still can't download draft classes yet, which is kind of annoying. Hey, Lewis, I've got something small to chat you, uh, with you about. No problem, what's up? Uh, compliment the scout, critique the scout, mock the scout. I'm gonna compliment my scout. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just be respectful with Lewis. You know, Lewis's morale's up. Maybe that means he'll be better at predicting good prospects. So Thibodeau says fan interest as well. Yeah, we're going to be making sure that we're getting everybody back. I don't know why Thibodeau cares about the fan interest. He should just be caring about winning games. So Thibodeau, your mind's in the wrong place. We have another test from the governor. Philip, I feel like he's going to be on me. Oh, wait, it's already Thursday, December 10th. Wayne Ellington is just not pulling their weight. We need to get rid of them. <laughs> okay, Wayne Ellington and I'm guessing Reggie Bullock is gone. Okay, so it is currently, we've been playing games. So I haven't realized that when you go through new tests, you play games. So we ended up losing to the Spurs on opening night. So they didn't change the 2020 schedule. They could have just randomized it, you know. Uh, RJ Barrett had himself a game. We didn't even get to edit the rotation before we start making trades. Okay, before I guess we edit the rotation, we can't use Trade Finder. Okay, so we're going to move Wayne Ellington. Okay, I'm going to try to trade Wayne Ellington and Reggie Bullock to the Hawks for Travion Graham, Brian Goodwin. I'm going to try to get two second round picks out of this as well. And this will trigger the start of an action. Are you sure you want to do that? Yes. So they are not interested in this trade. They throw a counter offer. Uh, we ha have to, we're going to have to throw in a 2023 20, second. Sure. We're going to be good by that anyway. So let's do that. And we make our first trade. We trade away Wayne Ellington. We trade away Reggie Bullock. We move up to, uh, rank two. Okay. And there's a skill tree. They actually did a lot in my gym. This is actually pretty cool. Uh, so you can do a chit chat with players, uh, special, uh, specialty facility. Choose this. Okay. Um, chit chat with the staff trade finder. I'm going to unlock trade finder. Yeah, we're going to unlock Trade Finder. Yeah, we're going to purchase that skill. So we had one skill to buy, and we did that. So I guess you start off with being able to chit-chat with staff. Okay. Um, all right. So we have those two unlocked, and then obviously you can get these. Boost sponsorship revenue. Uh, sign more big-name players. Yeah, and then what's like this one up here? Can you like change the schedule? TV games don't cost. Oh, so you got to pay for TV games as well? It's kind of cool. So yeah, now we unlock Trade Finder, and we can use this to make trades around the league. That is pretty nice to have under our belt okay and then uh we are currently two in, or one and two on the season uh now that we kind of have our roster figured out just for now let's edit the rotation oh and in order to edit the rotation you have to use an action point okay so that that you gotta really rely on these action points all right so we have an 11 man rotation you can see this is what i came up with we have frank and rj in the backcourt kevin knox at the three randall at the four mitchell robinson at the five then we have damien dodson alfred payton dennis smith jr bobby portis taj gibson and mo harkless off the bench now can i send wait this will end your action okay so we'll do that is there like can i send players to the g league i can okay so i'm gonna send iggy brisdakis to the g league uh we will use an action point on there so we are done with our actions here you can see the upcoming events bigger relationship changes and view upcoming weekly meetings so uh you can see the all-star votings in 42 days and okay those are all okay that is pretty cool i like having that and then you can see your staff uh, trust and then the mood of some guys. Okay, perfect. And you can see players trust mood. Nobody's looking like they're on the downturn besides maybe the head scout. Okay, I don't know. So uh, weekly press will attend weekly. Okay, so we're going to attend. Wait, no, we will attend and then we'll do that. Okay, so next week we're going to attend this press conference. Reporter, good afternoon, Matthew. Just have a few questions for you. What are your goals as the newly minted GM of the New York Knicks? Big things, learning, let's see, big things. You got to say that. I want us to accomplish big things here. Championships, all-star seasons, and every other marker of success. So yeah, we're getting the owner trust off. That's what we want. We don't want to get fired. Uh, so he has one more question. 
obviously there's been talk of some potential trades. How much do you worry about keeping that sort of thing out of the press? Simply business, I worry, no comment, simply business. I can't concern myself with that too much. It's unfortunate, is it unfortunate? Sure, but that's the cost of doing business in the league. Mm, my players might not like that. Yeah, uh, so the mm, owner was not happy, but Christopher Bell, is that a different GM? That might be a different GM, I'm not sure. And maybe you need a higher trust with other GMs to make trades work, uh, I'm not sure. And then we can use another uh, point thing here. So I can use any one of these, which is actually kind of nice. Um, really, uh, we have our trade finder, change ticket prices, you know what, that might be big. So we're gonna do that, we're gonna purchase that. So we can now change ticket prices. Wait, can I do that? Uh, yeah, I think we just did that, sweet. So you can have kind of team status here. Mitchell Robinson isn't thrilled about the trade movers. You're not getting traded. Maybe because I put him up in the trade finder. Ooh, that kind of stinks. Uh, okay, so yeah, we'll answer these in the next episode because yeah, that is gonna be for me. I hope you guys enjoyed episode one. Let me know in the comments what you guys think of the series. Let me know if you're excited. Let me know if you want anything to change. But yeah, drop a like if you guys did enjoy. Thank you all for watching. I'm actually excited for this. this seems really fun to do. I love you guys and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace.